Hello, 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 hello. Good to see you. Thank you so much for clicking on. I'm going to hang out for another minute or two. Oh, thank you so much for sending those hearts up. I certainly do appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm going to send some wa a wave back up at you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much for chiming in. I just, I'm just getting home from work, had to do an empowerment specialist training at the real estate firm and um, it went amazingly so. And I felt that I had some more oil that needed to be released on tonight. And on my way home, I literally, hello, come on in you guys and invite somebody else if you don't mind. Oh, I've, I've dived in, has missed you. <laughs> I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys. Thank you for coming in. On my way home from the training tonight, the Lord began to speak to me. And he told me to just jump on real quick tonight for just a few minutes. So I will be very, very brief. And I want to share with you something that happened to me on uh, last week. I went on vacation for my birthday celebration with my beautiful butterfly of a daughter, Marquesia. And when it was time for me to leave the city, first was in New York and then it was Miami. So it must have been Miami I was trying to get out of. Do you all know that when I went through the metal, metal detector thing, you call it, okay? I went through there. I knew I was straight before I went through there because one thing that I'm not going to do, hey there, Katanja, I'm not going to let myself be stopped at security by having things that I'm not supposed to have. The things that I know don't belong in my carry-on, I'm not going to take them. I make sure I don't have excess stuff, blingy stuff on clothing-wise and all of that. But I, I went through there. My bags went on through. And then I they told me to walk on through. So I began to walk through, you guys. And as I walked through, it started ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. Because something is not right. And of course, they stopped me. And I'm standing there looking and I'm thinking to myself, okay, Jesus, what is this all about? Because I know I'm straight and I know that nobody has gotten a hold to my bags because I'm, I'm good, good about keeping my things tight with me during my airport travels. Anyway, guess what happened? The lady pulls me to the side and I say, what's the problem? Hello, hello, hello there, niece. She pulls me to the side. I'm like, what's the problem? And she says, well, I said, do I have something I'm not supposed to have? And she says, no, you have been randomly selected by the machine to be checked for explosive devices. And I said, oh, my God. And I just look and I kind of raise my eyebrow up in that. And I said, explosive devices? She said, yes. We want to check you because we want to see if you are carrying any explosive devices. My message for you all tonight is carry and conceal until proper time to reveal. Let me say it again. Carry and conceal until the proper time to reveal. Now, when this chick asked me, looking all serious and everything, like she might be ready to lock me up if anything, you know, is, is located on me. She says, we want to check to see if you're carrying any explosive devices. 
And guess what, Charmaine Short? I almost threw my hands up to her and said, absolutely, yes, I am. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm, I'm full of explosive devices. My God, don't you recognize a stick of dynamite when you see one? My God, I said to myself, when it comes to the spiritual realm and you want to check me to see if I'm carrying explosive devices, all this dunamis power that's on the inside of me, this whole airport, baby, about to blow slam up. <laughs> Oh, this whole airport is about to be leveled to the ground because you want to know. The machine wants to know if I, the chosen one, out of all these millions of people in and out and through this airport, you want to check me? You want to stop me? You want to search me up and down? Ha! Huh? To see if I am carrying any explosive devices i said oh it's about to be on and popping i threw my hands up and i said check 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 baby <laughs> i didn't say baby part i said okay check me because guess what i didn't get upset i didn't i didn't get upset i did think in the back of my mind now you better not make me miss my flight but I understood, hallelujah, that I do walk in dunamis power. So see, when I went through the detector and it started beep, 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 just going crazy, all I could say was, good God Almighty, my God, I want to know if I have anybody diving with me late at night who is also, hallelujah, full of dunamis power. If you were to walk through the airport right about now, would the machine start bing, 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 ding, 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 bing, 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 going crazy? Because it detects something on the inside. It decides randomly, Tequila, that you are worth checking. My ah, somebody better hear me tonight. You are worth checking. You are worth the inconvenience. You are worth the hold up. My God, somebody better hear me tonight. The thing that you've been seeing as an inconvenience, I want you to stop seeing it as an inconvenience. The thing that's been working your last nerves and you feel like it's been trying to stop you from getting where you're going, I want you to understand that a stick of dynamite can't be stopped, baby. My God, the best they can do, well, let me take that back. If they disarm it, they can stop it. Hey, but I came to let you all know tonight that you are armed and fully dangerous. Whoever you are, they might try to disarm you. There might be something in your life right now that is trying to disarm you, trying to shake, rattle, and roll you off your purpose, but it ain't going to work. My God, you better hear me tonight. Because see, God came and told me to get on here tonight and, 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 and let somebody know that you need to get up off the ground. See, I'm talking about my airport excursions over this past week. I had some interesting things happen to me in all those different airports I've been in between New York and Miami and RDU. God wants somebody to get up off the ground. You've been flying too low. He wants your attitude to come up higher. He wants your altitude to come up higher. I see Pastor Tammy Harris up here, my big sis uh, Tammy Harris up here. One thing that she says in her coaching and her training and her personal handling with me over the years is that, baby, the air gets thinner at the top. Mm, it's shot. The air gets thinner at the top. My God. Hi, Latanya. The air gets thinner at the top. Somebody been afraid to, to get off the ground. But God says you need to get seize this opportunity. Seize this window of time and get off the ground. Get off the ground. Stop flying too low. Lift and thrust. My God. I'm thinking about what I was thinking about when I was sitting on the airplane. 
I'm thinking about how fascinated I was as I realized I'm 30,000 feet in the air. All I can see around me in any direction is white clouds. There is a pilot. There is a co two co-pilots in the cockpit. Because, see, God is the major, major pilot. So the real pilot on the plane and his co-pilot, both of them are co-pilots. God is the pilot. This plane is being held up, hallelujah, not by the wings, the engine, the motor, all of that. It's being held up by the blessings of God. I came to let somebody know tonight before I get my shower, before I kick my feet up for a, minute, a few minutes, before I do some more work, before I turn in for tonight, I felt an unction, a very strong unction to get up here and encourage somebody tonight, make your mind up and then make your move. Conceal, carry and conceal until proper time to reveal. See, if I had opened up my mouth, because see, I'm kind of crazy, you know, in the good crazy kind of way. I'll say some or anything, sometimes just to get a reaction, ask my family. Listen, when the lady told me in the security check that she randomly wanted to check me for explosives, if I had said out of my mouth what went through my mind, if I had said absolutely, yes ma'am, I'm full of explosives, I would still be in lockup somewhere probably right now trying to prove to these people I was just playing. Don't you understand African Americano play play talk? Oh God, they wouldn't be buying that. But listen, oh God, I had sense enough, common sense enough. Hello, hello, hello. You guys come on in here. Hey, Treva. Hey, Bobby. Treva Davis Phillips was my big sister, the Beth Elite Society, when I was a, a, a middle schooler. <laughs> and I still remember that. She was good to me. Listen, carry and conceal what God has placed on the inside of you. Hold it real tight. Make sure that you lock that luggage up good. My God, my daughter bought me some new luggage, you guys, for Christmas. Good God Almighty. That bad boy was spinning around and around just like a ballerina. The whole set. And on the side of it, I got some combination locks I had to set. And I learned how to set it myself and unlock it myself. And it's tailor-made for me now. Uh, I want to say to you tonight, whatever God has given you on the inside that you have had on lockdown, it's time to unlock it. It's time to unload it. It's time to unleash it. The thing that you have been carrying on the inside, waiting for the green light go from God, waiting for the airplane, the jet plane, the 747 to get clearance on the runway. You, it's time for you to start taxiing down the runway because you get, you got to get in position. You don't just take off like a rocket just like that. Now, that's not the way a jet plane goes. First of all, it begins to slowly make its move, kind of quiet. And then it begins to pick up momentum. Are y'all going with me in the spirit realm? I want to say to somebody tonight, Mary, that you all need to be busy about the Father's business as it relates to your divine purpose here on this earth. Uh, I, I, I want to let somebody know tonight that God has asked me to be a messenger and to encourage you and to let you know that he is giving you permission. He is giving you clearance to get up off the ground. Get in flight. Get in the air. Get to your next stop. Get to your next city. Get to your next destination. Get to your next state. It's time for you to get off the ground. You've been carrying and concealing for a minute now. You've been quietly behind the scenes working on that thing that God has assigned to your life. I want to say tonight, oh Lord, I just had a vision. When I was in New York City, I went to go see Tina Turner on Broadway. Hey, rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Do, 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 do. Hey, well, we had a ball. Listen, at the end of the movie, 
uh, the Broadway, Lord have mercy. They opened up those stage curtains and Tina was at the top of the stairway, at the top of the building. Listen, God is calling somebody to come up on top. He is saying for me to tell somebody, take your walk. Take your walk. Climb those stairs. Get to the top, the pinnacle, where you are supposed to be. It's time out for low-level flying. My God, the only time a plane is flying low level is either just before takeoff or when it's getting ready to bring that bad boy in. Everything in the middle, you need to be flying at a certain altitude. So I came to check in with you all tonight. I want to find out what your, al your altitude is like. I want to find out if you, you got your hands to the plow. I want to find out if you're busy believing God, trusting God. And I want to find out if you're be busy believing and trusting in yourself. It's time to get off the ground. You're full of dunamis power. You're, you're fully loaded with explosives. My God, all that's needed now is for you, yourself, and your own eye to light it. I ministered a message this summer, last summer, called Light It Up and Set It Off. My God, I want to say to somebody tonight, it's your time, it's your hour, it's your season. I want to say to somebody tonight that Matthew chapter number six tells you don't worry. You've been worried about how you're going to do it. You've been worried about who's going to help you. You've been worried about how's it going to look? How's it going to sound? You've been worried about, do I have enough ducks in the bank for it? Do, do I have enough stacks to, to carry this thing off if I start it? Do I have the wherewithal to finish it? You've been wondering about a lot of things. And all the while, you've been carrying and you've been concealing a, 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 a boatload, a treasure load of dynamite on the inside of you. I came tonight to remind you, my God, according to Matthew chapter number six, you're not to worry about anything that you need in order to do the thing that, that, that has been assigned for you to do. What you need to do is get your tail up off the ground. You need to get up and you need to get through that security gate. You need to get your, have your bags packed. My God, you need to, hey, when you get to a certain point in your journey, hey, Nurse Melanie, when you get to a certain point in your journey, baby, you don't even have to pull your luggage. My God, it's going to glide for you. Hey, oh God, that's an upgrade for somebody. You ain't going to have to pull like you used to have to pull. All you're going to have to do is simply put your hand on it, and as you walk, it's just going to glide right along with you. And if you're not careful, it'll get away from you, Cassandra. If you're not careful, when God give you that good God Almighty, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious upgrade, once you get off the ground, that is, once you take some tangible steps to let God know that you believe, that you trust, that you understand that you are fully loaded, do I have anybody diving with me tonight who understands that you're, you, you're, you're fully loaded? You're subject to set the bells and the whistles off. My God, just by simply walking through. Hey, when, when, when God clears the runway for you, all you got to do is just walk through. Just walk, baby. Just walk. And you will find as you walk, that everything you need is already prepared. But you got to get off the ground. Get those dreams off the ground. Get your hopes off the ground. Get your hidden treasure, oh God, off the shelf and get it off the ground. Yes, get everything about you off the ground. Because the world is waiting. The world is not only watching. The world is waiting for you to Light it up, set it off, and light it up. The world is watching and the world is waiting. So what you waiting on? They waiting on you. What you waiting on? You waiting on fear?
to disappear, it might not ever disappear. But you're going to have to do it afraid. You're going to have to get off the, off the ground even though you're shaky, even though you're scary. Ha! The first time I ever flew in a plane at the age of 15 years of, of age, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was scared as could be. Oh, God. Oh, many years later when I got on a plane in my 30s, but I flew all in between there. But another occasion, I ran into some really bad turbulence and the plane was shaking. Oh, God. I knew that there was a possibility that turbulence could happen because it's a byproduct of flying high. You can't always escape the turbulence. You got to get on that plane anyway. So I'm encouraging you tonight. Take cheer. Find your confidence. Get your bounce back. Believe in yourself. Understand and recognize that you are carrying and concealing Something that is so valuable, something that will, hallelujah, change lives, something that will usher in greatness, something that will bring to your life everything you've been wanting and looking for. Let the bells go off. Let the whistles go off. Let them call security. Let them check you and don't find nothing but glory. Hiya! Let them check you. And you keep your calm and you keep your cool and you keep a right attitude when they pull you over and when they check you, my God, knowing that it's only a test. All it is, is a test. And you got to pass the test because destiny is calling you. You got to pass the test because destiny is calling you, calling your whole entire name. Destiny is commanding you to get up off the ground. Leave fear behind. If you got to, look, leave your bags behind. If you got to do that, it might be time for you to stop being a bag lady anyhow. My God, whatever it takes, that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Carry and conceal until the proper time to reveal. When the proper time hits your life, you will know it. When the proper time, my God, rings that bell, ding, 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 you will know it. When the proper time announces itself to your mindset, to your spirit, to your emotional intelligence level on the inside, when the proper time is recognized because you discern it right, you will know. Because all you got to do is walk on through. Now, on that note, I feel I want to share with you guys. You know, I'm super excited. I, I, my adrenaline is so high. I hope I can even go to sleep tonight. My adrenaline is just that high. Because I'm so close. Ha, ha. And I, I feel to tell somebody right there, you, you, you're closer than you know. You, you're closer than you think. You, you're closer than you feel like. You're closer than you believe. You, you're closer to the finish line. So keep going. I want to say to somebody tonight, keep going. My last flight trying to get out of Miami. Guess what, guys? I messed around. Stop when I was, wasn't supposed to. And mess, long story short, messed around and missed my flight. But guess what? It was another attitude check test time. It was another altitude test time for me. I decided I'm not going to trip. I'm not going to berate myself. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, lose my peace I'm going to make it a Romans 8 and 28 God said that he'll make everything work together for my good so I decided to make the best of it at first they told me it would be 6 hours until the next flight and then it went down to 4 hours and then it went down to 2 hours and I said to heck with it God let your perfect will be done and I, I immediately re recognized, what can I do? How can I maintain my peace? I found me a table. 
I had my, thank God, I had my laptop with my manuscript. Hiya, that's in its second round of edits from the editor, the professional editor on deck with me because I don't trust it to travel no other way. I sat down. I pulled out my laptop. I worked on edits for three hours. And I was just as satisfied because I was about my father's business. I was just as satisfied because the dynamite was going off on the inside of me, page by page by page, as I worked through those edits, as I made my corrections, as I shifted some things around, and as I reordered and restructured, I just made myself satisfied. I said, destiny keeps calling me. There's a reason that I missed my plane. Who knows? It might have crashed. Who knows what my, uh, somebody crazy might have been on it. Who knows why? Maybe it was just a lesson about my time management. My God. Any rate, at any rate, I sat there typing. Restructuring, typing. Listen, what is it, God? What's my next words? What do I need? Okay, I need to fix that. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because I'm carrying and concealing my book, my baby, my manuscript. Destiny keeps calling me. My God, it's, it's, it's moments away from being uh, uh, ready, from being done. It's off the ground. I've been taxiing down the runway during the pandemic, even before. Let me ask y'all. Let me just tell the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. It's over a decade in the making. If you don't believe me, you can check my computer dates. But now is the proper time. For me to conceal and reveal. Now is the proper time. For the glory of God. To just make manifestation of it. Out of the incubation state. Into full manifestation. Now is the time. My God. Now is the time. It, 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 it's, I want to say to somebody. It's your time. And it's your season. That thing that's been in the incubator. All those years. Jesus, now is the time. Yes, now, faith, I want to say to somebody, no fear. No fear. Don't be afraid to get on the plane. Don't be afraid to walk through the security gate. You know what you carry. You know what's on the inside. You know that you're full of dynamic dunamis power. You know that the kabod of God, the weight and the glory of God is on you. It's on your stuff. Oh, it's on my book, baby. Destiny keeps calling me. Rising above life's train wrecks. <laughs> oh, God. Anybody know anything about that? Well, I'm about to bring it to you. I'm about to drop it like it's hot. My, my big sister, Tammy Harris, says I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. Oh God, moments away, it won't be Amos 9, it won't be long now, and I'm transferring that. I'm transferring the same dunamis power. Stroking those fires. I want you to get excited. See, for the longest while, I wouldn't say nothing about it publicly. You know why? Because so many times we hear, you know, move in silence, and I did that for a long, long time. I told you it's been over a decade. Move in silence. Don't don't give the enemy opportunity and all of that. And and but God came to me when I was in in Miami, and God spoke to me in a in an audible voice. And God said to me, Jackie, that might be true for some, but for you and with this. It's a spirit of fear, and I want you to curse it at the root. I want you to de I want you to light a stick of dynamite, and I want you to destroy. No, see, we can convince ourselves sometimes. Oh, the reason why? Oh, the reason why I'm not? Oh, the reason why not yet? Oh, the reason why I won't? Oh, the reason? No, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. There's a spirit of fear sometimes in our delay to proclaim. I would delay to release, but I came to let somebody know today as I get ready to click off of here that God is saying to you, you have permission. You have clearance. 
is clear skies. The, the skies are clear for take off. So you better get in the flow. You better find your momentum. You better get in the flow. You better confound the enemy. You better arise and shine and let the glory of the Lord come upon you like never before. You better do the thing that God has given you to do. My God, no fear. No fear. I'm confident that what the Lord has began in me. He will finish to completion. I'm confident that I'm coming through. I'm confident that this is the hour, this is the season, this is the time. I'm confident that the altitude is just right. I'm confident that I'm on the right track. I'm confident that I'm on the right flight. Mess around and miss your plane if you want to. Mess around and get on the wrong flight if you want to. I talk about all those kind of things in, in, in my book. You, you, you're going to have to get it. You're going to have to get it. I talk about all these things. I came on here tonight to let somebody know, just trust it. Trust what you have on the inside. Trust the creative flow that God has given you for your tailored specific purpose in this earth. Trust it. Hi, Paula. Trust it. You got to trust it. You got to trust it. Just as much as you trust God, I'm telling you right now, in this season, you're going to have to also trust yourself. You're going to have to also trust yourself. Philippians 4 and 13 won't just work if you only trust in God. You're going to have to trust in yourself as well. I told you you're a stick of dynamite. You better trust something. Stick of dynamite gonna blow up. And if you don't know what to do with what you got, you're going to blow up with it. Hi! But it'll be in the negative sense. God wants to set it off and light it up for you. Blow you up in a positive sense. In an impactful way that will change the world and turn it upside down. Are you ready for it? I don't know about you. But when you on, when I was on that, those flights, those play that they, they said we're ready for takeoff. We're ready for takeoff. Buckle up, baby. Hey, ha! Oh God, I want to say to somebody tonight: make a decision tonight before you go to bed. In the empowerment training that I just finished at the real estate firm. Oh God, listen. At the closeout. We go around and say a, a, a word, a takeaway word or short phrase. And I had mentioned in my in my coaching uh, about seize the day. And someone said that was what they were taking away from it. Seize the day. I want to say to somebody that you got a couple of hours left in this day. I decree and declare that if you make a sound decision to get up off the ground tonight, and release the thing that you've been carrying and concealing, you will find that the dunamis power of the Holy Ghost is mightily with you. God said, hallelujah, it won't be long now. But do you believe it? Are you participating with it? Are you understanding that it's bigger than you? People are waiting on you. The dying need you. Oh God, the rich, wealthy folks, they need what you got. See, they might have all the money in the world, but some of them don't have no Jesus. My God, we're not just called to a certain echelon. Because see, when you understand that you're dunamis filled, dynamite filled, and you understand that when you get off the ground, it means that the altitude is automatically lifted in your life. Baby, you can you can you can you can deal with anything. You can you can you can uh, uh set off anything. You just gotta trust it. You you gotta take that step. Huh? Oh God, you gotta keep your attitude straight, huh? keep your mouth shut until the proper time. To conceal and reveal. You better, if you go through security and the ding, ding, bing, bing, ding, 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 bing, 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 and she tells you you got to step to the side, 
because we want to test you. You've been randomly selected and chosen to be tested for explosives. I said to myself once I realized what she said, it's about to be good. You got to see it that way. 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 I want you to see it that way. I want you to see in such a way, Felicia, that you have never seen before. And you've seen some stuff. But I want you to see what eyes have not seen and ears have not heard and has neither has it entered into the hearts of man. The very thing that God would do when you find your courage, when you release the fear and you lift and you thrust and you walk through and you get on the flight, you buckle up and you get off the ground. I'm sorry for hollering, but it's that dunamis power. I can't help it. Whoo! I can't help it. I love you enough to give it to you exactly the way that he gives it to me. Hallelujah. And God is no respective of persons. If you own here with me tonight, this message is for you. Stop being your own hold up. Go up. Stop being your own hold up and go up. Destiny is calling you. Just like destiny is calling me. That's the name of my new book I'm about to drop. Hallelujah. In a few, in, at best and most, I hope in a couple of months. My God, but you can best believe it's deep, it's, 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 it's shoulders deep, baby. Shoulders deep. Go up. And just remember, when you go up, when you get ready, when you go up, because see, every plane that goes up, it's got to come back down at some point if for no, for no to, to let people off, to put new people on, to gas up for maintenance and all of those things. Remember to lower your wing and let somebody else on. Just make sure that it's the right person. Don't let no, uh, what you call those bad people? No terrorists on. <laughs> Don't let no terrorists on now. Recognize the wolf in sheep's clothing and don't let a terrorist get on. But when discernment tells you that that's the chosen person, hey, and you can sense, you can smell, you can see the dynamite, you can see the powder on them. Hiya! Oh God. When you, when, when the Holy Spirit said that's the one right there. When the Holy Spirit said, oh, look at that. Hey, you see that? That's the one. That's the David right now. That's the one. You let your wings down. And you help them on. So they can go up too. Because it's never just about us. Our individual selves. It's always bigger. And if it ain't bigger. As I click off of here. It ain't God. Good night. I'll see you the next time.